Hey, what's up guys? So this is just a bit of motivation if you've got thoracic outlet syndrome. And I was struggling four years ago at my worst. Stuck on the couch, wasn't able to get off the lounge floor due to panic attacks and heart palpitations and feeling horrible. The tightness in my neck was killing me. And then every doctor I went to told me that I need to get a first rib resection and uh, take out the top rib and I uh, went to the vascular surgeon, they told me I need an angiogram to check the compression as my arm was completely blue and numb and I worked at it, I studied exercise science, biomechanics worked on myself trying to get better as a lot of you know, as following my videos and I've also since then have had high blood pressure it was 160 over 110 and I had heat stroke so I've been through a lot, but the TOS was probably the worst because it took away a lot of my life and I couldn't do a lot of things. So this is just to motivate you, showing you that I'm out the house. If you have followed my videos, you'll know that I do a lot of boxing. I have weight training again and I'm doing everything. I just walked up the steepest hill of my life. <laughs> That's why I'm out of breath, but never give up. Don't listen to one opinion either because I have not had surgery I went to multiple doctors and all of them wanted me to have my top rib cut out and I decided against it and I fixed myself so there's a lot of people that might need it because due to blood clots and severe compression but my compression was so severe that my arm was blue and they couldn't find a pulse and here I am I'm using the same arm my TOS arm holding the camera up can hold it above my head boxing doing everything trying to keep fit so never give up just keep pushing no matter what don't let one guy one doctor's opinion stop you from pushing and uh, doing what you can to get out there and get yourself better <laughs> never give up and i'll see you guys soon